Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back again to a ship story video. Today we're going to talk about the SS Germanic, a white star liner with a rich history. So uh, yeah, let's begin. A quick introduction. The SS Germanic was an ocean liner built by Holland and Wolf in 1847 and operated by the White Star Line. She was the sister ship of Britannic, serving with the White Star Line until 1904. She later operated under the name Ottawa until 1910, after passing into Turkish ownership. She operated under the name of Gul Diyamal and Gul Samal, until, until broken up in 1915. 1950, after a total career of 57 years. But first, let's start with her construction. In the original design, Germanic was nearly identical to her earlier sister ship Britannic. Germanic was originally intended to be fitted with the same experimental adjustable propeller system as her sister. However, as this proved to be unsuccessful in the service on her sister, it was removed during construction and Germanic was instead fitted with conventional fixed propeller arrangement. Germanic was built at Holland & Wolf, Belfast and was launched on 15, 15 July 1847, although fitting out was completed in early 1857. Delivery was delayed until May of that year so that she would arrive in time for the summer transatlantic season. She was primarily steam powered, but was equipped with auxiliary, auxiliary sails. Quick fact, the sister ship of the Germanic, the SS Britannic, was the first White Star liner who would carry that name. And now we move on to her early life. The Germanic departed on her maiden voyage on 20 May 1857 from Liverpool to New York, arriving 10 days later. In doing so, she replaced Oceanic, the White Star's first post-Ismay steamship that was placed on charter by the company in the same year. In February 1867, Germanic made the record eastbound crossing, sailing from New York to Queenstown in 7 days, 15 hours and 17 minutes, at an average speed of 15.81 knots and winning the much coveted record which would become known as the Blue Ribbon from the Inman Line city of Berlin. In April 1877 she broke the westbound record crossing from Queenstown to New York in 7 days, 11 hours and 73 minutes, arriving achieving 15.67 knots, meaning that Germanic and Britannic who had also set records were reckoned recognized as amongst the finest liners on the Atlantic. In, genera in January 1838, whilst on an eastbound crossing, Germanic's propeller shaft sheared at sea and she was for forced to make the rest of the journey by sail. In April 1858, Germanic encountered a severe storm whilst on a westbound crossing with 100 1850 passengers on board when she was around 500 miles east of Ireland. An exceptionally large wave broke over the ship, causing a substantial damage, with several lifeboats torn away, the skylights to her engine rooms smashed, and her, and her pilot house being stove in. Water flooded into the boiler room, and engine rooms a hole in the engine rooms a hole was torn into the side of the reading room, which was flooded, along with the saloon and staterooms, and 13 people were injured, with one sailor being washed overboard. The captain decided that it would be unsafe to continue the journey, and so the ship was turned around and returned, returned to port in order for the ship to be repaired. This was the first recorded incident where a White Star ship had to abort the journey due to a weather-related incident. In 1859, after 20 years of service, Germanic was withdrawn from service and returned to her builders to undergo a major refit. 
in order to modernize the ship and, its, and extend her service life. New high-pressure boilers were fitted and she was re-engined with more powerful triple expansion engines made by Holland and Wolf. New funnels were fitted which were taller than her original. Most of her rigging, most of her rigging was removed and her superstructure was enlarged by the addition of an extra deck. Her interiors were also extensively remodeled. Germanic's gross tonnage was increased to five, five. I hope I said this uh, right. Five hundred and sixty-six tons by the refit, and she returned to regular service on 50 May that year, under the command of Edward Smith, becoming the first vessel to embark passengers at Liverpool's new floating landing stage. The new engines improved Germanic speed. Her first voyage using them shaved several hours of her previous record. Being more efficient, they also reduced coal consumption. Now we move on to a small incident of the Germanic. On 11 December 1859, Germanic left Liverpool for New York in dense fog. Shortly after leaving the mouth of the River Mersey, she collided with the 900 ton Glasgow registered steamship Cumbre Cumbrea, with Germanic's bow penetrating 14 feet into the side of the smaller ship. Germanic's captain kept the ship moving forward at dead slow in order to keep the vessels locked together so that the Cumbre 28 passengers and crew would have time to scramble aboard Germanic for safety. When the two vessels were parted, the Cumbrea rapidly sank. Germanic's bow was badly damaged and she immediately returned to port and was withdrawn from service for repairs. She re-entered service in January 1869. The Germanic would also be renamed often, one name being the RMS Ottawa. On 5 January 1905, Germanic was renamed Ottawa for the next four years. Ottawa, <laughs> it's Ottawa, sorry. Ottawa served on the Canadian route alternating between, to, between the Liverpool to Halifax route during the winter months and Liverpool to Quebec City and Montreal during the summer season when the St. Lawrence River was ice free. In 1909, Ottawa joined four other, line, other liners to ensure a weekly joint White Star Dominion Line service between Liverpool and the Canadian ports. After 1909 summer season, Ottawa was laid up for winter. In 1928, the ship was transferred to Turkey and renamed Gulsumal. In January 1931, she grounded in the Sea of Marmora, but was refloated and returned to service serving World War II, although playing no notable part in it. By 1949, she was a storage ship and in 1915 converted to a floating hotel. Finally, on 29 October of that year, Gulsemal was moved to Messina for scrapping, having lasted 57 years, three major mishaps and two World War Wars. When being demolished, her original White Star Line Gold Stripe could still be seen along her hull. Only Cunard's SS Patria served a longer time afloat than Germanic ending her days as a lumber tug in 1956. Patria's record, 84 years, as long as, so, as longest serving floating palace in any capacity, still holds today. And then my personal opinion of this fine vessel, I really like uh, the old ships of uh, the White Star Line vintage ocean liners of the White Star Line. Um, I really loved learning the story of this fine ship. Also because if we hear a White Star Line, we think about often the Titanic, Olympic and Britannic and so forth. But we often forget the smaller ships. So I thought I'd put the Germanic in the spotlight. I loved making the video and I hope you liked it. And that is then also the end of this video. If you liked it, please leave a like uh, for the new people who watch this video. Please subscribe, it helps a lot. And uh, we will see each other on our next adventure. 
as always guys have a nice day or night wherever you are and see you on our next voyage goodbye everyone